Hi, Madhu. How are you? Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, I'm fine. And what about you, sir? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you. Yeah. So can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah. Thanks again, sir, for giving this opportunity. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm from Tirupati, which is in Andhra Pradesh. And uh, uh, I completed my uh, Master of Computer Application and Postgraduate Program in uh, Tirupati itself. Uh, uh, the JD University and uh, coming to uh, my project, I mean, my work details. Like, uh, I am currently working in Accenture with a uh, 2.9 uh, years experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, in our project, we use uh, like a Selenium BDD and uh, uh, Cucumber frameworks to automate uh, scenarios. And also, we use a data driven uh, uh, framework to fetch the data from the Excel sheet using the third party tool, the Apache BY. And also, we use the test engine, uh, uh, test engine for uh, like uh, to 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 monitor the uh, execution for like uh, so which test case needs to be executed, which test case needs to be skipped, and everything. And also, we use it uh, uh, for reporting mechanism. We use the extended reports. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, coming to and also we uh, in our project like uh, coming to uh, project structure like uh, uh, we have a content that properties value really there. So in that we use it to like. Uh, 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 in configure a properties file, we mentioned like uh, so what is the URL need to be run and the part, uh, I mean usernames and password so that in future if you want to change uh, anything so we will simply update in configure properties file so that it will impact uh, and also in SRC test uh, we use the two I mean uh, either to keep or which, which of the code we need to be uh, run and uh, and uh, in SRC main we we use the logical code like uh, step definite file run all. Yeah, and also, yeah, you know, like form.xml file is there. So, in that, we have, we use it to, I mean, uh, keep our dependencies. Uh, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah. do you do you have uh, DevOps integrated with your framework? Uh, no, sir. Actually, we use uh, the DevOps for uh, uh, this defect uh, tracking and all. Defect tracking. Okay, fine. So you don't have uh, DevOps integrated. So how do you run your automation? Yeah, actually we have to run. Uh, uh, I mean, using this I mean, Jenkins only. So, using Jenkins, yeah. So that is yeah. integration with DevOps, right? Whatever test, whatever scripts you will develop, those will be automated and those would be deployed on the server. Yeah. And then Jenkins will be taking care of the executing of the test scripts, right? Yeah, so that is CI C D. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. so you are using BDD framework, right? Cucumber. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. What are the advantages of Cucumber? So coming to advantages like uh, so we have a like uh see uh by the cucumber like we will mention step by step the, like using everything like uh, uh, given when then and so that not even non technical person also uh i mean what is going at this i mean what what's uh what is the flow of the uh test case and all i mean he or she can easily understand mm -hmm. okay. and uh yeah and also we can like uh uh we will pass the data in like uh in the, in the form of example on the keyboard using example keyboard we will pass the data like multiple users so if you want you want to i mean uh, run a test case like uh, with multiple users we can pass uh, using example keyboard uh, yeah okay great so the advantages of cucumber are basically as you have mentioned very correctly it you yeah. can involve non technical person you can take their inputs you can also involve business stakeholders who cannot actually code Right now, yeah. end user experience becomes a priority over here. The end user can understand, right? Yeah. You can also reuse your code, right? Like, yeah. Okay. Now, which is the programming language that is uh, you know used in this Cucumber to write test in this Cucumber framework or this PDD framework? Which is the programming language that you are using? Yeah, Java. Yeah, currently in Java. Mm hmm. Okay, see, uh, you might be using a Java programming language at the backend, that is at the step definition file level, right? Yeah, yeah. But whenever you 
you know, run these functional tests, which are written in a plain text, like given when, then you are mentioning. Okay. So in which programming language they are being written? Uh, programming language. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are written in a Ruby programming language actually. Okay, fine, no worries. Okay, now can you explain me the use of background keyword in Cucumba? Uh, background keyword. Background keyword. I have written actually, but the regular. Sorry? I use the background keyword. Okay, you haven't used that background keyword. No, no, I use it, sir, but I'm not getting like, Okay, uh, okay, okay, no worries. See, this is a mock interview. Even if you yeah. don't know the answer of the question, we will give you the answer on your behalf. That is absolutely fine. Okay, now, uh, background keyword is actually background. used to, yeah, it is background. used, yeah. yeah background keyword is like, uh, when we have multiple scenarios, in the same scenarios, like, same in the in the same scenario yeah so when you want to repeat some particular statements then that background keyword will be used okay see actually uh, what happens is sometimes you have to reuse the code you have to repeat the same set of given statements in each scenario of a feature file so over there you will be using background keyword for example it might happen you have to use login again and again. So you might use background yeah. keyword as one of the alternatives. Yeah. Uh, so just wait, just wait a second. The power cut. So I will open Windows. Why? Yeah, sure, sure. No worries. Okay. Now, what is BTD actually? Uh, uh, BTD actually BTD stands for Behavior Driven Development. Uh, thing and uh, we use we use it like uh, uh, i mean by using btd we can uh, we can like uh, write the scripts uh, like in, in user understandable format like we can we can uh, i mean by by seeing btd itself like uh, even non technical user can understand the, the i mean uh, the flow of the test case and all so in simple terms like uh, there is no like complex terms we i mean in, by using btd we can write the test cases Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you have joined using mobile or you have joined using laptop? Laptop only, sir. Laptop. Okay. Now I want you to write a feature file and you know develop a step definition code for yeah. gmail.com. So you have gmail.com as one of the website. You have to enter okay. username and password, those credentials, and you have to click okay. on the sign in button. But this should be done by the BTD framework. So can you please uh, share your screen? Yeah. Sure. Any ID you can use, maybe Eclipse you have or you know, IntelliJ, whichever you want to use. Can you see my screen? Sir? Yes, yes. I'm able to see your screen. So Gmail, right? Your function. Mm -hmm. okay. Gmail website. Just open a new tab. Yeah. Don't open this tab. Yeah. Just open a new tab. Yeah. In this, uh, you so what you have to automate is you have to launch Gmail website. You have to enter credentials, and you have to click on the login button. Okay. You can choose another account for now.
I think Kumar is installed. I think Kumar is not installed. Let me try to install. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, okay. it's not my it's, it's not my laptop, so that's why. Okay. Okay. So what we can do is you can open a notepad file and you can write. How will you write given when then? What would be the step definition? What with the code over there, right? Yeah. So first is like a scenario outline we can mention. Yes. And uh, the scenario outline is Gmail login. Gmail sign in. And uh, uh, in the given. Oh. the URL and uh, and the user name and password then So you want to like uh, enter the username and password and uh, hit the sign button, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the future definition file, I mean step definition file. Sorry. Uh, so we will like uh, use it uh, in the first uh, this uh, given launch URL is there, right? Inside that, we, what we can mention is like uh, driver dot get using driver dot get. Uh, we will mention the URL mm -hmm. and uh, and then like uh, we will identify. Yeah, I mean objects in the uh, 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 objects uniquely in the web page. Right. We will try to pass the pass the username and password in the form of uh, like a string format, like So, I mean, uh, the statement, it will take like uh, two parameters in the step definition file. And uh, I mean, you, uh, in, in the form of strings, and using that, like we will enter the uh, username and password and uh, we will click sign button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is taking okay. still time. That, that yeah. is fine, leave, leave that eclipse for now. Okay, yeah. now, how will you verify that, uh, you know, your username, your password has been entered correctly, your sign in button has been clicked here or not? How will you verify that? Uh, there is something, yeah, there's something you'll have to add in the script. Yeah, maybe if you can guess. Uh, okay. So, I mean, we need to verify like after uh, I mean, uh, successfully sign in button, sign in, or uh, we just need to verify like sign in button is clicked or not. What, yeah. What is the so, yeah. So, let's say if you are an automation tester, right, then you will be putting assertions, you will be putting verification yeah. checkpoints at every yeah. screen. Let's say you are launching yeah. the URL. So, once that Gmail yeah. is open, then you can take a page title. So, after given, you can put then, then is the verification yeah. point. Then yeah. whether this particular screen with that particular page title, whatever the page title is, and Google accounts login is being displayed or not, then you will yeah. enter the username and password, right? That is another when. Then one more when will come, you will click on the sign in button. In the then, actually, you have then is a keyword for all the verification perspective. Yes, sir. Yeah. Whatever assertions so, you want to keep. Yeah. So you are saying that after launching the URL, uh, I mean, we need to use then. Yes, we need to verify. Whenever so you time. have to keep checkpoint, whenever you have to keep assertions, wherever okay. you want to verify whether these things have been taken place or not, then only your order another sequential test case will run. Yeah. But you will have yeah, to make some right. assertions. Yeah, because yes, this right. automation will run at night. You don't know if the page title gets yeah. changed or if another website has been taken, right? Yeah. Now let's say if I want to uh 
uh, okay fine this is fine okay have you used and keyword in your uh, feature file when will you use and keyword in your feature file uh yeah i, I use it uh like uh, so see uh if the, if the like test case uh, like uh, have multiple requirements mm. so in that case we will use and mm. the same single test case like mm -hmm. yeah okay can you elaborate with some example mm -hmm. So here only if you take like uh, uh, when if you take enter the username and also we can use and keyword and mm. enter the password like that mm. we can yeah see so you can use over there but actually it's when it's actually test steps that you have to do yeah. right so it will come in when and keyword you can use maybe at the end of the test case if you want to update some report or if okay. you want to you know take a screenshot or if okay. you want to update the test results so all those things you will be using and keyword for that okay right okay okay now let's say there are two strings in java okay. right which you have to compare character by character so so the very first string is gmail that is one okay. string another string okay. is yahoo so how will you compare two strings in java character by character character by character Hmm. Yeah, we can like uh, using a uh, see. Let's take uh, Gmail is the uh, string S one, hmm. and uh, Yahoo is string S two. Okay, hmm. so so using for loop, we can compare like S one dot character of i equal to S two dot character of i. So using character of i inbuilt method, we can compare it. Right? Okay, can you write the for loop for that, or can you write a code high level logic? What will you do? Yeah. Oh, can I write in Selenium? I mean, you can write in Notepad itself. That is fine. Okay. We need to compare no? character by character, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you think you will have to convert them to the lower case first, both the strings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah either upper case or lower case, we will convert. Mm -hmm. Yes, so first convert them in the lower case, and then you can do character by character comparison. Not correct. Okay.
So we need to compare it, right? That's it, right? And no need to verify like whether both the strings are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just equal. Yeah, just, just compare. Okay. So in that case, then I think no need. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. we can compare like this, and also we can use the inbuilt method uh, dot equals here mm -hmm. to dot dot equals method. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah, and also we can use uh, object dot equals method. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. now tell me a scenario where you will choose to use linked list over array list in Java. Uh, linked list or array list? Mm. Mm, sorry, sir. I, I mean, I haven't like uh, touched the collections and that. Okay, okay, no worries. So let this be an open question for the people who are watching this video. Right? When will you choose to use linked list over array list in Java? Okay, now is uh, Java passed by reference or passed by value? Uh, we can pass by reference, sir. Even value also, uh, I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how is Java? Will uh, you can allow pass by value or pass by reference in Java? So reference also we can pass by using strings like. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, so over here is pass by value or pass by reference. So by using these terms, I'm talking about variables. Okay, now yeah. pass by okay. value means value of a variable is passed to a function or method, you can say. Pass yes, by yes. reference means reference to that variable is passed to the function. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now what do you feel? Is Java a pass by reference or pass by value? Uh, like we will pass actually normally like values only, right? Values. Okay. Yes. Java is always passed by value. Okay. Okay. What is null pointer exception in Java? Uh, like, uh, see, when we want to divide uh, uh, by zero, any value, mm -hmm. so we will get null pointer exception. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of test runner class in Cucumber? Yeah, um, test runner class actually, I mean, we will use to like, uh, we, will, we will mention there in future file path and step mm -hmm. data file path. And uh, uh, also, we can mention the reports where it needs to be generated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. By default, how many classes and how many class definitions are there in a test runner file? By default, how many classes and, and class definitions are there in a test runner class file? Class only one class is there. Right? Only one class. No, no. Uh, by default, is it there by default? Uh, by default, like uh, when we create a test in a class, only class will be created, and inside that we will mention the like all the uh, required. Uh, I mean, future file path and the uh, file path and uh, yeah, report generation, and also we can mention uh, and yeah, we can uh, and also we have one more class like uh, uh, before sort like uh, URL needs to be launched, right? Mm -hmm. like we, when we are clicking, yeah so inside that uh, before suit uh, said that we can mention uh, uh, this thing so which needs which uh, which is a method to launch uh, url yeah the like browser but, needs to be launched right? right so by default test runner class file will not have any you know class or any class definitions until unless you mention that right okay. okay now let's say if you want to pass parameters in the feature file right Okay. So, yeah. is there any possibility to pass parameters in a feature file? Uh, parameters in the sense like, uh, like uh, let's say in terms of uh, when you are trying to automate login string, so you want to test with various usernames like Tom at the yeah. gmail dot com, uh, yeah, you know Madhu at the gmail dot com, RD at the gmail dot com. So these are all the different parameters that you would like to pass. Okay. So, is there any possibility? to have such kind of, uh, you know, scenarios based 
test automation using BDD? Yeah, I mean, in the future file, we can mention the example keyword inside that, uh, in the, I mean, uh, that variable name. And after that, we will give like uh, how many, how many, uh, like you mentioned, as you mentioned, like at the red email, mother, at the red email, at command, how many, how many, uh, I mean, variables we need to test. Mm -hmm. how, many, yeah, how many arguments we need to pass? We can mention inside the example keyword. Absolutely. So examples are yeah. nothing but it is used to pass different arguments in the tabular format. And yeah. there is a pipe character also, which is used to separate two different columns. Right now, an example uh, can contain many different columns. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Madhu, I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, yes, sir, feedback on them. And, uh, and also one more thing. Uh, actually, uh, I am currently working in uh, like manual test only. So I am trying to, I mean, I am learning course from Udemy and yeah. So, right. So feedback uh, is like you will have to, you know, revisit concepts of for Java, like array list, link list. Okay. okay. Then uh, these okay. Java based programming questions can be asked to you. Like how will you compare two strings? So whenever you are comparing, always make sure that you convert those strings to the lowercase characters first. Yeah, yeah. Because it might happen in the runtime when you are writing Java programs, the interviewer might keep on asking questions. So you will have to take care of all these things, right? The rest all I think was really good. Was uh, you know not at all that you have to improve a lot. But yes, there are some improvement areas that you can easily take care of. Yeah, yeah surely I'll, I'll improve. And one more thing, like. Uh... Uh, so as of now, I don't have real time experience. Mm. I don't have like only I, I like uh, I got uh, I mean I got opportunity to work just only two months only in Selenium uh, and again the requirement the budget issues and the but, uh, and, yeah no so, worries that is in real time like, see yeah. if I if I go to another project mm. so if I mention like yeah so total two by nine years I have I mean I mean up to here. 